Hello. In this video, we are going to be learning about increasing and decreasing intervals and how to determine those intervals. So let's begin. We are going to examine the function below and we're going to determine the intervals on which it is increasing, decreasing, or constant. So we have the function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2 and the graph is on the right of the screen. So our first step is we want to identify max and mins because our intervals switch at a max and a min. So on our y-axis we have a max and at x equals 2 we have a minimum. So what happens is at these max and mins, as you can tell, our graphs go, um, that's, where they, that's where they change direction. So that's where our intervals are going to change as well. So we want to read graphs from left to right, just like you read something on a piece of paper or in your textbook or a post on social media, we read from left to right and that does not change whenever it comes to math. So we are reading from left to right. We are going to begin um, somewhere in between negative one and negative two. So we're going to go up. So that interval is increasing. Then we got to our max and the direction changed. So now we're going down that's decreasing and we got to our min and now our direction is changing again and we are going up. So let's look at these intervals. Um, negative infinity, this is in terms of our x's. When we write our interval notation, it's in terms of x. When we were finding our intervals at decreasing, increasing, or constant, we are talking about our x's because our y's are constantly changing. Um, we are talking about our graph from left to right, and from left to right are our x's, our domain. So, as our graph is going down, 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 um, it's going to negative infinity because we could continually zoom out and we could get, get to numbers that are larger and larger and larger. So, negative infinity to zero. Zero is where our max is located. And then our next, our decreasing interval, our interval going down is going to be 0 to 2. Our max was at 0. Our minimum was at 2, 0 to 2. And then lastly, our last interval began at 2 and it ended at infinity. Now here's the thing. If you notice on all three of these intervals, we're using parentheses, not brackets, because the slope of our line at 2 and at 0 is 0. At our max and our min, our point is going to be flat. I know that's hard to see, but um, if you end up taking calculus, we'll dive into that more and you'll learn about it then. Uh, so let's actually start defining our increasing and decreasing intervals. Let's start with increasing. Our green line, our first green line that we drew from negative infinity to zero was going up. So that's increasing. So we need to move that to the increasing. And then our second green line from two to infinity, it was also going up, so that's increasing. So that's two to infinity. And then we have one interval left and it's decreasing. From zero to two, that line was going down. So we have a decreasing interval. Let's do another one. Okay, so this one we have a piecewise function. We like these slide functions. We're going to determine um, still the intervals on which we are increasing, decreasing, or constant but I want you to try it by yourself or at least see what all you can determine. If you can at least find the max and mins, max and or mins, if you know, do as much as you can. You have 30 seconds beginning now. Okay, and that was 30 seconds. So we do know that we need to identify any max and mins if they're there. Um, we don't necessarily have max and mins in the technical definition, but we do see two turning points here. We see a turning point at zero and at four. Um, we also know that we need to read this graph from left to right. So we are reading it from the left to the right and we are going up until from negative infinity until we get to zero. And then we're reading from left to right again, and we have a flat section, and then we have a downward section. So we're going from negative infinity um, to zero, so that, and it's going up, so you know it's increasing. 
Now from zero to four, that's a flat section. So it's not increasing and it's not decreasing. So what must it be? That's right, it must be constant. It must be a constant interval. And then lastly, from four to infinity, we were going down, so it's decreasing. So our increasing interval, negative infinity to zero, our decreasing interval was four to infinity and our constant was zero to four. Um, that is, right now in pre-cal, that's about as complicated as it's going to get, or out of two trig, whatever you're using this video for. Um, as if you progress to calculus, we will dive into it more deeply and really get into the conceptual and understand what's happening. But for right now, that's where we're going to stop. Um, I will see you again next time as we continue our journey with functions.